Hey, Spyro! Zoe told me that if we hit that doodad up there, the portal will open. Why don't you try spinning this rock at it? Hmm. Huh. Looks like this target will open a portal to a whole new world. Oh god, did I seriously just say that? Anyway, what is up guys, it's the PlayStation Beat You. Welcome to episode 13 of Let's Play Spyro 3, Year of the Reignited Dragon. In the last episode, we... Sparks became a great craw daddy, and we increased his the range where he can get gems. Now we're heading into the Enchanted Towers, and I have a friendly spirit with me. Hello, everyone on YouTube. Uh, <coughs> let me try that again. Hello, all you spooktacular folks. Forgive the kind birds of feather now forever. I am at the Spirit of Halloween from the YouTube channel. Spectacular forced us to build a statue of the sorceress. Yeah, there's been we built it, she you may notice that he sounds ugly. exactly the if same. Me, the it sounds like the exact same guy that's been with me is. throughout most of this playthrough. And that's because the name's been the taken by some I am, but I, I wanted to change the channel name anyways. I needed a fresh start. Yeah, and even then someone's been and using the name and... Let's not and... talk about the current situation, please. Oh. Sorry. But anyway, one of the main attractions of this these enchanted towers are these wide-eyed creepy dragon things. They start off small, then they grow huge, and just stare at you with those glaring... with those... with those eyes, which freak me out. And if you stay... Weird flying dragon things. Yep. If you stare at them for too, if you stand still for too long, they will still spit fireballs at you. That is if you're in range. Otherwise, they'll just be asleep. Yeah. And you have to get close in order to wake them. Which I would not recommend doing because they look scary enough. Tiny. Although it's kind of messed up that we can also kill them in their sleep if we're good at aiming. Well, at least they won't. At least they'll work towards getting all the dragon eggs back, so they don't die in vain. Also, I've never seen these creatures sleep. I've always seen them walking around when small. And flying when large. Obviously. Oh yeah, they walk around. I think sometimes they sleep. I think it's like sometimes an idle thing. I know that they slept in the original, that's for sure. I've never seen them walk around, really. Really? They did? Yeah. Yeah, they usually slept a lot in the original. Hmm. It almost was cute. I think they're called Draclets or something. Oh wait, no, that's that's not these. Those guys. are Isn't those are the spiders, the spiders in uh was it called Crystal Glacier, was it? The one Crystal where Crystal Glacier, I think. No, no, uh Icy Glacier I forget. It was the ice level it was the icy caveman level in freaking Spiral 2, okay? Yeah, I know that one. Yeah, I I wanted to get that done as quickly as possible because yeah. Yep. But anyway, glide here, and we get to the Gladys egg. Get the Gladys egg. Little sneezies. <laughs> and I don't know what these Lanox are doing riding, or riding drills like that. Doesn't look safe. Those are jackhammers. Oh, still. Doesn't look safe. It's kind of funny how they're like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty hilarious. Also, when you listen to the Enchanted Towers music, it kind of sounds like the theme for Sergeant Bird's bass. That's because it is. Really? Yeah. I'm surprised too. This is like the only one that they still reused even with the complete soundtrack. 
literally the only one that they didn't make a separate soundtrack for when the full game released when the full game released as greatest hits slash collector's edition. Interesting. Well, I suppose I it sounds it. different uh, enough now, for it. Now, you'll find another level later on in this game. It sounds a lot familiar to another playable character. But that's because they, they used the original playable character's music when they didn't have the full soundtrack. But even with the complete soundtrack, the repeated soundtrack piece that sounds like the other playable character, I will not spoil, basically still sounds very much like it, but very different. Almost like it's a remix or something like that, you know? Yeah, the Enchanted Towers music feels the same way. Uh, the Enchanted Towers music never actually got its own track. It's still just the Sergeant Bird theme. Still, it sounds different enough for me to notice. Yeah, okay, fair enough. And... And I can't find any pictures of those dragon things. Oh, I found one! I ready to reveal my latest oh. piece of real-time four-dimensional performance art. I have the call PS1 it model for you. Exploding Witch number nine. Now, if you can just light the three rockets around here, my masterpiece shall be complete. If you want to use it in your video or something like that, I think that's okay. Alright. And these rockets... Here it is, the original model. These rockets can be used to destroy the sorceress's statue. Oops, I forgot I hit this egg Did you get inside the, the statue. I hope the explosion didn't hard boil it. <laughs> About the sorceress's statue. Oh, this dragon's named Peanut. And he's acting like a peanut. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like the little draggy was chasing its tail. I know, but I had to make the reference. Don't <laughs> hug. You know the weird part is I am actually pissing him off, and he would like to kill me, but he will not because that would be a form of suicide. <laughs> You want to He's kill me? I've done them jokes, dude. Some of them may not be appropriate for your channel. <laughs> okay, I won't go too far. But anyway, you may have noticed those little creatures. What you, do? you freaking picked your nose. <laughs> you freaking picked your nose. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't do a very good job. <laughs> There's still something there. Cut it out! You gotta get it. It's wiggling. Stop it! Oh wait, you're a ventriloquist. Make it talk. Make it talk. <laughs> That'd be funny as hell! Oh, and give it a French accent. Ah, bullshit. I'd like to of your nose. Smell my breath. Stop it! Okay, you see the, uh, you see the image of the original model? For those dragon things. Oh yeah, they they look weird. They look goofy, actually. You <laughs> look goofy. Ow! Stop watching fire at I me. Can't see. But anyway, uh, earlier in the stage, you may have noticed that there there are those weird dinosaurs carrying bones around. If you remember from the Skelos Badlands in Spyro 2, you remember seeing the exact same thing. Aren't these, uh, lava toads or something? I think so. But, somehow, the Skelos Badland caveman who had that dancing skeleton friend came and somehow got into Enchanted Towers and his For skeleton. Occasion. Seriously, that's that's not a joke. That's why he's there. Yeah, I think that's it. Actually, in the dialogue, actually, if I remember correctly, he said he was on vacation. Oh. I wonder what the official name for the skeleton is. And again, I really, really hate to hear the stupid air horns again and see him perform their freaking Fortnite dances. So, if you can also. At least show the original skeleton dance, that would be good. 
I'll also link that in the description. But let me tell you, the you thought the dance was insane in, in Spyro 2? You've seen nothing yet. I, at the time of this recording, it is currently November, and I recorded the footage for this stage back in, like, uh, March or something. And I thought I was going to get the exact same skeleton dance. Well, I sort of did. But, it's much crazier this time. You'd have to see what he does. But anyway, hey, again, I'm pretty sure I've seen the, the original dance before. And I'm pretty sure he also flossed in the original version. Oh, and would you look at that? We've reached another skateboarding section. And you know what that means. Oh gosh, the spotter. Hunter's here. Let's see what he has to say. Isn't this the wildest skateboard park you've ever seen? Nope, he doesn't flush. Once you've mastered a few tricks, you could really rack up really? a it huge looks like score he does. in this place. What do you say I show you some moves? Not in Let's the original. Let's start with something easy. You can jump off the end of ramps by pressing the jump button. I'll show you how to do it once. Oh yeah, then it's yeah your there's turn. a uh, extra dialogue. Doesn't matter which one you choose, Spiral or Sergeant Bird. Uh, but if you come back after completing the mission and you just come back okay. before leaving the now level course, so that's still there. You can roll in mid air by holding down the action button before. while staring left to do right with the left stick. Over again. Well, <laughs> there we go. Wow. So Hunter's teaching us. This basic skateboarding moves that hey, I never nice thought to roll. try in the first now let's see you pull a flip. And they will be exactly a like rolls, huge help push forward in making sure that I get instead of left at right. the course record. Just jump off the ramp, hold down the action button, and press forward or back. But I don't get it the first time, and after the first try, I just decided to just, you know, just wait until later. Her. Because... I didn't experience this until the oh, very last skateboarding now we've seen in like the post game. The blue ramps but pipes. What, do a spin move but what our friendly spirit here ramp, said about the, left or right in the air. about the glitch where, where the game lags, huh. I can in fact confirm that it is in fact true. I've seen, I've noticed the flame frame drops. I, oh, I'm right. noticing that the game. It. Now let's see if you can do a 900. When you, Get as much height as you can. There for too Spin long. two and a half revolutions in but the air. But honestly, land back on the I don't find it too big of a big of a deal, and it can easily be fixed by resetting the game. So <laughs> there's nothing too bad about it. But anyway, yeah. also this now skateboard that section was, was part of the reason why this video is like 40 you minutes long skills, so Spyro. sit back before you get too relax cocky, let's see if you can score some real points on the show. giant ski ramp do whatever moves you want it's also because i was pretty lost get. in enchanted towers like this if i didn't cut out the footage the way i did this video would have easily reached a 15 minute mark <laughs> I don't know about you. Anyway, some of the mini games in Spyro 3 are references to other games from the time. Really? Yeah. For example, the skateboarding stuff is a reference to Tony Hawk. Yeah, of course I know that. Yeah, Tony Hawk wow, Pro Skater games. Really fast. I really hate well, the Pro Skater games, but I love the Disney Skate Adventure, even Speaking though it's the exact which, same I'm controls. Just practicing it's a lot easier and plus you get cool characters. I nasty Nork. Instead of just, I just real about life pulled people. it off when suddenly I ran smack Hawk, into this dragon egg and wiped out. He's okay, I made that up. Why are they still, still making this games? Egg. Yeah, a lot of people will agree that the first few games were uh, were the, were just top tier. And by the way, we just got a dragon that tried to blow out fire on only to blow you bubbles. Freestyle competition for points. Nice. Alright, All right. now, this is where things get wins. interesting. We're in a contest between Spyro and Hunter to see who can get the most trick points in two minutes. Overall, it's very easy. Just keep doing flips, 
bends, turns, and you'll make it. And there's no way Hunter will be able to catch up to you. They have a lot of moves based on like the original game's bosses and stuff. Yeah, Crush, Gulp, Ripto. The Orange Crush, the Big Gulp, which are basically references to 7-Eleven, I think. And I... Hunter mentioned uh, something the called the... Ripto. Um, they got the Nasty Dork. Yes, that's actually in the game. Uh, sometimes Seriously? they got exclusive moves to specific levels, like here, where you, you get on top of those two towers and jump off the ramps on each of them in a row, you get the twin towers. Yep, and on top of that, it it also helps towards getting the score, or the, the course record. Because let There's me tell you... Champ and the Twisty Toasty. And let me tell you... Getting the course record here is not easy. You have to get... None of them are, really. None of them are, unless you've been practicing for years and know what the F to do. Yes, but... The first one was at... Even then, they're still a little tricky. Yeah, but the first one was... It only took me, like, two tries to my, to my memory. But here, you need to get 10,000 trick points. Not one... Thousand, not a hundred, ten thousand. The easiest way to rack up the points is to keep doing different moves. Sometimes you gotta do it multiple it. times in order to get, get new ones, of course. Already. And you gotta keep Knows. landing those you'll moves break my and not freaking <laughs> wipe out, otherwise you cut yeah. out that score. Anyway, I guess I should give you this other egg I found. Mm -hmm. I was gonna keep it for a pet, but I can't get it to hatch. Yeah. And so, for beating Hunter, we get Alex. High amount of points, but keep doing them, and you'll eventually get no points from doing them. So don't repeat moves too many times. Try to keep finding new moves. Ha, <laughs> that baby dragon farted bubbles. You can go for the course record now. Uh, that's One, great. Whenever you hop on a skateboard, a timer will start. Score as many points as you can until the timer <laughs> expires or you wipe out. Good twisted luck. lemon, twisted lime. Oh, the farting bubbles, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, now we're back in the Enchanted Towers, and we're in a new area, where there are a bunch of these creepy dragon faces again. And my best strategy is to wait for them to grow small and get back on the ground, then strike them from there. Here. That seems to be your best Where are you exactly? I'm in the area where, where you find the... Uh, the quest for the for the pet wolf, as well as where you get to switch to Sergeant Bird or to playing the level. Yes, you actually get to play a, a character other than Spyro in the main stage here. Ah, uh, yes, I remember now. I'm I, ready to control the towers, whatever you uh, urge me to. I wish you got to play as Sheila in the main stage. Sheila and the other two in the main stage, like you do here. It's all. Yeah, uh, it is not. But I think they made such a bird the one because he can fly. People have been asking for Spyro to fly in a main stage for years. When did we finally get it? Legend of Spyro 3, not of the Dragon. Which, by the way, if you ever find a way to record that with me, we should play it together. Because it's a two-player campaign if you choose to play with a second player. Otherwise, you could do it single-handedly, but you gotta keep switching characters a lot of the time. So both Spyro and Cinder are playable in that one? Yes, it's for a specific reason, and it's explained right in the opening cutscene. They're literally chained together with some magical chain thing that honestly reminds me of the tether mechanic in skylanders if you get too far away from each other you'll get pulled towards each other and can't go any further it's like that tether mechanic before or skylanders used it except you got a tighter er, grip so yeah you got a tighter distance can't go too far so the range for the skylanders Tether is wider than the tether in Legend of Spyro 3. Yeah. But honestly, the campaign is worth it. This is the only one I managed to technically beat out of the three. 
and possibly, and I only had two of the games specifically, the first and the third. I was close to finishing the first, but our game broke. Yeah, the disc is scratched to frick. Ouch. Should never finish it. I managed to see the whole story of the Ch of the Legend of Spiral Trilogy online in a nice little game movie thing featuring gameplay and cutscenes. with my pet wolf, Farley, but and stuff. I accidentally threw his ball down this hole and, and he went in after it. Mm -hmm. Now he's stuck Though down I did there. finish the Legend of Spiral Trilogy, that was easily the best. Sitting up here, listening to his steadily softening whimpers. Don't cry, wolf. Never cry, wolf. Poor Farley. He gotta do something. I don't know if it's Harley or Farley. I could never tell. Farley. It's made clear here. So. Farley? With an F? Yep. Ah, I always that... figured it was Farley. It just made sense. Yeah, and thankfully, we can come down here to help bring Farley back to his owner. You can also do a real jerk move at the end of this mission. You can steal Farley's ball and just take it with you out the door, but it disappears in the loading screen. <laughs> so, technically, you wouldn't be able to steal it. Yeah, but it's still kind of a jerk move. Farley just sits there. Well, at least he won't be able to fall into that pit again. And why is that pit even there? Like, what happened that caused it? I have no clue. Oh, time to go oh, fetch the dog. I'm sure you've fed this many times in Mario. Ha, <laughs> you said fetch the dog. Well, you gotta admit, you gotta fetch the lady every time in the 400 plus games of Super Mario Brothers. Uh, all right. Yeah, Princess Peach always gets kidnapped. Gotta fetch her again, over and 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 over. Only a few occasions where you don't rescue her, like in the Luigi's Mansion trilogy. Uh, well. You do rescue her in the third Luigi's Mansion game, but uh, she's not the main rescue. She's like a side rescue. Just like how the Toads were in, in a lot of the Mario games. And the Toad was a side rescue in, in Luigi's Mansion 3 too, right? Yeah. The main rescue has always been Mario, of course. And there's a game called Super Princess Peach, where it's Peach that rescues Mario, Luigi, and Toad. Just thought that would work. also rescued Mario and the gang from um, Bowser's castle in, in a scene in the Mario comics. Oh right, I remember that. That was the and one where Luigi dis That was the one where Luigi put on Peach's clothes. Right there, I'll tell you that right now. She doesn't use her emotions to get to the get to save Mario like in the game. She actually uses brute force. And what's interesting about that is. That la last I remember, that's the comic that where Luigi dressed up as Peach, right? Oh god, yeah. Also, this comic does explain a little more why Bowser steals Peach. He has to take care of, well, at the time, it was seven children or something like that. Now eight with Bowser Jr., of course. But either way, he takes care of a lot of children as a single father, runs a castle, and runs an army. All at the same time. He only kidnaps Peach just to get some help here with the children. He needs a mother for them. If he wanted a, wanted help to... Um, if he really wanted help to, to raise his children, he could just ask. Not have to for- he could- he doesn't have to uh, force Peach into his castle. He can easily just say, Hey, uh, I have seven children and I'm trying to raise them, but I'm not exactly having the best of times with that. Or you... better yet, he could try dating Rosalina. She's single. Daisy's dating Luigi. Mario's dating Peach. Why not just 
go after Rosalina, plus she's got children too. She'd be a perfect candidate. Just ask her, hey, I'd like to date you. Maybe you could help me hey, take care of my children. I mean, you've got children. Like, she's got those stars, I know, but they're basically her children. Yeah. Seriously, you could combine the families and you could work together. She's a princess as well. Yes, of the galaxy of, of, of all things, but still. Honestly, I don't think he's ever gone after Rosalina. I think she was just existing in you the Super Mario Bali. Galaxy games. I haven't How played I yet, so do correct you, me if I'm wrong. I mean, I could give you this I egg, but I haven't Harley's played the Galaxy games slimy. either. Oh well. So I the don't. The only thing I know right? about the Galaxy games is something <laughs> creepy in Super Mario Galaxy 2. The Hell Valley Sky Cheese, as they're called, in the fall. Oh yeah, I've heard about that in Cat's Top Video's Top 40 Scariest Easter Eggs in Games. I found out about it through Creepy Gaming before Creepy Gaming uh, it stopped making videos. Right, I I watched that video too. But anyway, we rescued Farley, Farley, and now we'll get to play as Sergeant I'm ready to Bird. I'm the towers and the perimeter of the islands whenever you want I'm me to. I'm ready to patrol the towers whenever you want me to. It's yes, good sir. Good to be back in action. It's good to be back in action. Indeed. And now we can safely reach this other toad. And now there's... we should try to make a reference to this very vulgar movie without using one You're of the many right. trucker mouth Please lines the of the general. Of the bone, like so how Kid Icarus used to use for Wawa because it's voiced by the same guy. I'm going to use a different line from the same film that still gets the line out, I guess. Show me your war face! Ah! Ah, uh, poor crap, I did not hear a war face. Now show me your war face. Ah! Work on it. Yes, sir! Anyway, work. Hey. I tried not to actually scream it because honestly, it would be way too loud, especially with the mic this close. And I didn't want to not only blast you out, but also the freaking audiences that wear headphones. There's already YouTubers that do that blasting for us. Yeah, and honestly, who in the right mind thought it was a good idea to do stuff like that? Probably the honestly, biggest- it's just a silly meme effect, okay? So just ignore it. Don't even look it up, really. They're not that worth it. Kettergers will do it sometimes, but he's just trying to make a silly joke, and he can actually make it funny. On that. So there's the difference. But honestly, that blasting out thing is just annoying at times, trust me. So yeah, I'm at times, do it properly, like an Icarus, don't bother. At times? <laughs> he, ba he barely does it. Like, I only can think of one time when he did it as a joke. Yeah, that's what I try to... Uh... I do avoid so, yeah, doing that. If you were to marathon Kid Icarus, you'd probably get like, oh, probably like 2% of all of his videos it has in it. And he's got a lot of videos, trust me, so you're barely gonna get anything. You're gonna yeah. get more yeah. silly jokes than yeah, anything. Like, he's yeah, like, one, one time I remember in his Clanor review, hey, he was like, after the jingle played, he was like, I'm sold! And then he. He discovered a problem with his memory card and something, then he just said, Oh well, back to the jingle! <laughs> oh, and the memory card still won't work on my PS3. Oh well, back to the jingle! <laughs> and I just want to dance for it, it's just so adorable, honestly. I can see Noah doing it, the little cutie woody bloopy bloop. I wonder why they didn't have him do that at before the, before Kid Icarus made it a joke. <laughs> I wonder as well. Honestly, Kid, the first one Noah is quite sad. I don't know much about the sequel. I did watch a review of the sequel done by Kid Icarus' sister. Who is under the name of uh, Dr. Juice, I think it was. Yeah. Yes, that is Kid Icarus' sister. And if you need proof, look at her video on the Kanoa 2 game. And then 
And then look at some of like the oldest videos of Kid Icarus. She'll show up there a few times. Yeah, I also remember Exo Paradigm Gamer reviewed all the Klonoa games to give him more attention. So Isn't yeah. There only two Klonoas. Two main series games. There's also a remake, two GBA games, games, a third one that is Japanese only, a volleyball game of all things, and uh oh yeah, one for an obscure system called the Bondi Wonder Swamp. But anyway, we now have the Bondi Wonder Swamp. Swan, actually. But anyway, Wonder Swan. Either way, what the heck is a Wonder Swan? <laughs> He'll explain it in his video. But anyway, let's talk to this guy, and we have all the eggs. Well, all the bones, which will give us the egg. Who's Ralph? Little crying draggy. My friend is feeling much better now. Oh no, he started his bone dance again. Wait a minute, he does it in this game too? Oh yeah. Wow, I was not expecting that. Again, I'm not looking forward to reignite soundtrack piece for. Wait, this. is he backflipping? What? He's he moonwalking too. The original as well. He did the backflipping in both of the original ones from Sparrow Two and Three for the PS One. Wow, that was that was even more over the top than the than the original than this. Then the reignited version in his second game. They actually paid full homage to the entire dance. The Even if the music the wasn't exactly the same, they got the dance down. Well, it's exactly the same. It's completely different. It's not even been any similar. Uh, he backflipped in the original. He backflipped yeah, here. The song is completely different. It's not even the same. Oh, I misheard you. <laughs> Sorry. I I think I don't know. I would have to check, but I don't think that if you were to change to the classic soundtrack, it would even play the original, which is kind of disappointing. I I'd have to check. don't know if that. I'm not sure about that either. Can but, you possibly check that for me? Sure. When I do ex the extra dialogue for Spyro two and three, like. Not even have enough gems or orbs when talking to money bags or whatever. It's like I'll definitely yeah. I'll definitely take a look. Alright. Well, you mean take a list hit. Just set the setting to classic soundtrack and then go for the bone dance. All if right. it doesn't change to the original, I'm gonna be very disappointed with freaking Toys for Bob. It's, it's like one of the best soundtracks in the original game. It's the original Bone Dance. You cannot have a Spyro game with it, <laughs> without the original Bone Dance. Wait, 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 wait. Was this Bone Dance wasn't? Was this Bone Dance also in Enter the Dragonfly, Hero's Tale, and? The Legend of Spyro games? I know I didn't see no. it in Skylanders, but... No, it wasn't in those ones. Those ones are different, but I mean, if you're trying to make one based on the... But I mean, if you're trying to make a game based on the original trilogy, you cannot skip the freaking Bow Dance song. I'm sorry. Oh, but anyway. Now, we will be getting the gems in the skateboarding section. This last one is the pain. And then I'll focus the rest of my time on getting the course record. Did they ever port Disney Extreme Skate Adventure from the PlayStation 2? Um, I don't know. I would really like to play that one again. Yeah. But even if you don't necessarily like the pro skater games, you gotta admit, the soundtrack is pretty for that game is pretty cool, as to be expected from a lot of video games. But... But anyway, that's all the gems in the Enchanted Towers. All that's left is to get the course record. Let's do this. Are you kidding me? Okay. It's a course record. Don't expect it to be easy. 
in case, yeah, <laughs> I figured I'd do a compl compilation of me wiping out, out, forcing me to, to restart the course record. <laughs> that was what you just heard, my friendly spirit. But, now, I'm feeling pretty confident. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, no point in restarting now, I I still have pretty good progress. One thing that can be a big help is like this, like our friendly spirit mentioned, and you can easily get a thousand bonus points if you, if you jump over those three towers like I've done a few times. And in fact, you saw a gem on there. Like, like, so, yeah, I wiped out again. But thankfully, I'm I'll... checking and they did not pour you into PS3 or 4. I don't know if it's actually compatible with any later consoles. The Disney Extremes Get Adventure. Will you actually record very old games and play them on your channel? Of course! I plan on playing through Fire Red and Leaf Green, Park Gold Soul Silver, Diamond and Pearl. Classics. Oh yeah, I played through Crash Team Racing, Nitro Field, and and I'll play through the Insane Trilogy too. So. What about the original versions of both trilogies? Yes, I'll get to them. I don't know whether or not I'll do commentary for them, but I. But I've always yearned to play the original versions before the remake. What about something like Shadow of the Colossus? I'm not sure. But anyway, we finally got the uh, course record for Enchantment Towers uh, and Rayman, Rayman 2, and Rayman 3. Oh, yeah, uh, I'll definitely play the Rayman games. And if I ever get a co. And if I manage to get some. If I plan to play Rayman Legends, I'm up for co op because it's co op. And so is Rayman Origins. If I don't have three extra players to do it with, I'll definitely call you up. And plus, sure Legends. I'm great at the Rayman Legends. I'll play with you. And last I checked, Rayman Legends is online, right? Or am I yes. wrong? Yes, Rayman Legends was on both PS4 and PS3. I had it on the PS3 originally by disc, but then I decided, nah, I don't really play PS3 anymore. I've got a PS4 now, so you know what? I'll just buy it digitally. Oh, it digitally what's happening? Bianca's doing something. I think I know what cutscene you're looking at. <laughs> Is it the one where she gets attacked by a giant mutant rabbit and Hunter saves her? <laughs> Yep, giant mutant rabbit. That thing's more hideous in the uh, remake, of course. She really toasted you. Yeah, but she was aiming at you. She was aiming at. <laughs> That's it. Whoa! There goes Hunter. Whoa! Wow. That kick saved her! Oh yeah, he, he's loud. <laughs> Bunny's bouncing on Hunter's head! <laughs> that look on his face. It's a good thing for you, Hunter was around. I can look after myself. Oh, sure you can. <laughs> Would you like me to show you? Also, they made uh, Bianca a lot more adorable in the magic, remake. Huh? How about I give you a jump start? And <laughs> I mean, I'll deal with you later. a lot more adorable. Hey, why'd you have to scare her off? In the remake. Ah, uh, Hunter's like disappointed like about her being scared off. But anyway, that's it for this really long video. Sorry that it's this long, but anyway. We are heading into a new stage that is over here, and it is called the Icy Peak. So, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. 
See you all next time. See you all then.